So this is a delayed room tour because I usually do my room tours in April. That's when my mom comes down to my school dorm, which is about an eight hour car drive. And she usually picks up all the figures that I've collected <laughs> during the school year. But this year I don't uh, have that many figures, not in box at least. So this is gonna be a quick room tour just to show you guys how my, it's the same room as last year, but it does look way different from last year. And this is my last year here. So I will never be returning to this room and I'm kind of sad. So I wanted to record, I'll be moving out this weekend. Not sure when the video will come out, but yeah, I wanted to record a little room tour before I leave. Uh, the filter is not, <laughs> it's not feeling very well. So here's my door. It's uh, ignore my nail polish, please. I haven't <laughs> gotten to update it. It's really ugly. Uh, but anyways, here's my door. It's the same room as last year, as I said before. So. It's the same pantry I have as well, like the same dorm room, dorm house I'm sharing with people. Here's my winter jacket, and here's my just pumped, you know? So you just pumped, and this is how the room. I forgot to record like this, um, but yeah, here I hang like just my keys, harness, everything like that. And here we have some water bottle and stuff. This is the furniture I bought for this year, I didn't have it last year. My bathroom is basically the same, I just have a painting from one of the students that goes here. And yeah, it just it's the same, have a little mirror, can store stuff in there, have a lot of stuff there. So we, let's just close the door, it's really ugly. And then I have this strawberry lanyard I got from Tigger. A lot of strawberries, count the strawberries in this room. Um, so yeah, strawberries, strawberries. And this looked like this because I had originally the mermaid print up on the wall like this here. But then when my boyfriend came over because the glass cabinet was standing right there. But I decided to move it because we couldn't fit otherwise and I liked it here. So I kept it here. But yeah, here's my, you know, underwear drawer and stuff like that. It's, it's really good because last year I just was storing my underwear in these <laughs> in the shelf. So here we have a uh, rump drawing, as well as some makeup brushes and stuff. And here's my Made in Abyss shrine. And if you go up here, we have some more figures and figure boxes. Um, these ones, a moon. And the LED lights are really, really ugly. I apologize for that. Let's open. So yeah, when you go in here, I have all my Made in Abyss volumes. I had a fat with an Android. Had the Fapida scale I got for half price, the Fapida pop up parade, of course. And uh, as I said, it wasn't always standing here, so behind all of this, I have like a lot of small Ame Ame posters going down the side here. And if we go here, we have more volume 8, as well as some acrylic standees. I had to get them. And then we have a little sculpture that I've made. Oh, that's a lot of dust. <laughs> Um, this actually glows in the dark. I did not know that when I made her. <laughs> so uh, she's just tiny and glows in the dark. I have this really big pin of Hapta. Uh, another volume, volume 6. Another acrylic standee as well as Shiba Hapta. And a little uh, a little one I made in clay just, just for fun. Just a little bun. And then we have a, a sticker I ordered free from, but I thought she suit here in my Hapta shelf. And if we go down here, we have Bondrud, of course. Uh, here we have volume 5, 1, 4, 9, and 2. I tried to match them aesthetically. And I also have some fake grass here to make it a little bit more naturey. So we have a small Nanachi there and meeting. And then we have a Nanachi game price figure I bought at Narcon. As well as Bondrud up there, Bondadi. Absolutely amazing, gorgeous figure. Then we have Prushka, Nexer, and also, I have made a Prushka figure, I just haven't gotten like the stand fixed yet. Uh, so yeah, she will be standing in front here, I think, but I will be moving soon anyway, so yeah. And then we have the Prushka and Rico Nandroid, as well as Menya. And then we have a small Rico and, uh, yeah, Rick, I thought it fit like that. I also have that as a, as a poster. Down here we just have more volumes. I don't have there isn't that many 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 Medina Base figures and I, you know, 
So I just have some volumes here, the anthologies, and this is actually the base for Nanachi. I just liked uh, when she was sitting in the grass like that, but this is the base and I thought it was cute with the autograph. And then an old mouse belt I bought at Nacon. It's kind of, yeah, I don't use it, but I like it. It's kind of like that. And then down here we just have, you know, Bondrud's figure box, a Papa does figure box. And then if we move over here, up there we have my one four scale box. It is ginormous, but she's sitting down. So yeah, then we have some peach riots. And here we have a lot of gacha figures as well as a print. So we have a lot of small gacha figures here. And then we have some of the land of the lustrous there in the back as well as the girling pieces. So these I usually buy in a really big bundle, so I'm not sure who most of these characters are. But I really like the Claude Ray aesthetic. And then if we move down here, this is supposed to be a little bit I have my 1-4 scale of course. And I've also hung like uh, cute stuff in, in the fairy lights here. And then here we have my 1-4 scale of course. Going down, she's a, she's a little, little bit dusty. Absolutely gorgeous figure and she fits perfectly here. It's just like a few <laughs> centimeters between the roof and the, or not even that, it's half a centimeter. And then we have these, which are blind boxes. I love them so much. I really like them. They're called Rise Up. They're from Pop Mart and I really love the artist who does these and I just love them. They're so cute. I like the art style a lot. So yeah, here we have a ray. And then we have this girl, which is my newest figure, I think. I got her for like 50% off as well, and also sold the figure, so I thought it was justified. But yeah, this diner elf girl, gorgeous figure, the pop marks in the back, and then as I've said in every video, <laughs> the one I won in a giveaway, Kinky Carrot, is also signed with my name. And then down here we just have like my tooth, <laughs> of course, septum piercings, uh, some of these, as well as more more gacha figures and then we have uh, some stickers that I've set here as well as a small print in pink frames I also have my ocarina here and here's just my leftover charms and stuff that I don't fit on my bag and then we have Oceanoko in the back I just wanted volume one nothing more because I really like I as a character and I really like the first episode a lot so I wanted this first volume and then down here we just have like all, all of my makeup palettes, uh, a mirror, as well as my makeup right here, perfumes. And then we have this like see-through Galkochan, I think she's called. And I didn't know I was getting this when I was getting the figure because what I saw I thought it was like special effects or something, but she is right here by the perfumes. My knee. <laughs> and then here I just have some like washi tape. Uh, I have jewelry there and just, you know, stuff. And this is for my friend, so I have stuff for him in there. And then I have nail polish and just, you know, nothing important down there. So that's what that side looks like. And then we have a strawberry lanyard here as well, hanging in the ceiling. And this huge Nekopara poster, or poster, it's, a, it's like a fabric. I got it for really cheap uh, second hand. And then here we have my desk, as per usual. This is my mouse mat. I have a Nekopara mouse mat in my studio, but that is cleaned out. But I will show a video, maybe on screen right now even, how my studio looks like. It's very cozy and I will miss it tons. But here we have my really bad screens. So we have K-Angel on one side and K-Angel on another side. Then we have my Google Home, as well as some of my Amiibos, candle, Amiibos. And then here we have my my first drawing diary, as well as my bullet journal right here. Some pens and stuff. And then we have my pimp style PC. <laughs> so I've put a lot of different stickers on this from a lot of different artists. Mikiyasha, Lord Grease, um, Sonia Dos Art, I think, Rap as well. Yeah, it's a lot. And then we have another K-Angel game prize figure right here. 
And here we have a little note from my boyfriend from the start of our relationship. And then we have the K Angel scale right there. She does light up pretty well and I I am in love with all of her details. She's a little bit dusty right now, but absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. And then on the other side, this is what it looks like. We have a Y right there. And then we have a lamp and it's uh, the charm I got with is hanging right there. So the angel on one side. And then Ami Chan on the other side. And here I have a print from FIFA, as well as small postcards I got from Sonia when I was her patron. And then right here we just yeah have my chair with my pillow that has been with me for a very long time. It's not safe work on the other side. Um, yeah, and here I have some roses that has really bad battery time. And here I have my she wig and my moped helmet. And this is not supposed to be here. This is usually not here, not the wig at least, or the sculpture. <laughs> I just cleaned out my studio, so it has to be here. So here's my sculpture of my creature. Terrible lighting, holy crap. And here I have some of my earrings. And here I just, <laughs> I used these balls to like hang my headpieces. As you see, I, I'm wearing one headpiece today. So I really like these and I put them like that. And up there is just boxes and stuff figures. Here we have Foss and then we have this word which we got at Sörengen's school. Uh, another Ami Ami poster card. And then we have my little my little bed in my little corner. So here we have a Made in Abyss print that I got from Ami Ami. Really adorable. I also framed it and it's been sitting up. I'm actually surprised. Here we have this what dish about last weekend, which is from the student who made the same the same drawing as I have in the bathroom wall. Belle Bubben on Instagram. Gorgeous small prints. I wanted to buy a big print, but I just don't have the money right now. My violin, and the same as last year. Um overall March mouse mouth since it perfectly fits like here. Uh, and it's also less ugly because this is just wood. Um, my crystal lamp, really nice, gorgeous. And then I have, as I said, this one that's been with me for many years <laughs> since I was at like my first icon, I think. Uh, made an abyss uh, poster, and then I have some more small like postcards I've saved and I wanted to put up. As well as here, it's a ride Cruise Girl Tober because I participated. Another small print from Sonia, Ocean in Space print I got from when I bought the uh, Eta bag. Then I, don't know, then I have a little scrub, scrub thingy from my mom, that's a strawberry and LED light and then I have another strawberry <laughs> because strawberries and then <laughs> I have more strawberries um, so this is like, you know Rosaline of course, and this is my bed and I hung this up in the same place because I really liked where it was So yeah, here's just an overview of my room again. So thank you so much for watching if you did watch. It's a little bit shorter video but I don't have that big of a room and I already went through. It, it's the same room and almost the same furniture. I just brought a little bit more this time. Uh, I have less figures this time. Hard to believe, but I do have less figures. <laughs> I had a lot of scales last year, but this time I only have five figures in box, I think. All these gacha figures I got in one box and I can just, you know, move it. But this is my little room. I will miss this really huge desk. It fit my screens and everything. It's been perfect for me. Um, I'm gonna miss the school a lot because I've been here for four years and I've moved around <laughs> every time, so yeah, it's a... Uh, it's gonna be difficult to leave and I wanted to show my room right before I leave. It's been cozy. I've had many friends over. I've had many tears here. I've had many happy moments here. Many cozy moments and many game nights right there. Drinking monster. It's gonna be really difficult to leave. So I wanted to film this video before that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed if you did watch and don't mind me brain farting because there's so much to think about. Uh, so yeah. Bye-bye.